Hello, beautiful Taurus friends. We're here to do your love reading, a you versus them reading. And we're going to put your cards side by side with a clarifier to describe what is going on between you and your person of interest. So we're shuffling here. Thank you for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. And um, if you like the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, a share, a like, and a subscribe. Okay. So your energy in the recent past, Taurus, is one of great love. Queen of Cups, feeling very much in your feels, uh, being emotional. She's surrendering to love. The water represents emotion, and she's waist deep in water. So you're feeling sentimental, you know, but very intense right now in terms of your emotions. Your person is coming in as the Aries energy, which is the Emperor card, and this person has, they're playing it cool. You know, I'm sitting back, I'm relaxed, you know, I've got my leg crossed, I'm not completely as open as uh, perhaps you are, Taurus, but I have a big chess piece, so I have plans for the future with you. What is the current energy? You want to make plans. You're ready. It's like, let's get started. Let's go do something. And your person is in this period of time in which they're changing. There's something about their life that's changing that seems to be impacting the relationship. They're closing out a cycle. Um, that can be, you know, ending a job, ending a career. It can be any ending, but it is also a new beginning. What do we have here for how you see things going for, or how you see the situation right now is the Two of Swords. It's almost like you're not looking at something. You're, there's something that you don't see because we see the blindfold there. We have your person feeling as though they're wounded. They are trying to heal for some, from something. Okay. Let's see. How do they feel about you? They feel as though you are definitely a person uh, that they could marry, that is Hierophant. They see you as a very traditional person. They see you as a person who mar is very marriage oriented. They care about you. Let's see how you see them. Well, you see them as your King of Cups to your Queen of Cups energy. So that energy is all about deep love, you know, being committed. So in your heart, in your heart space, cancer you're feeling um almost threatened here you feel as though something is not right or something is afoot you're feeling as though you you know it's a card almost of being sneaky the seven of swords can be dishonesty but i don't see that as being the case because it's heart space energy you're just you're feeling I think defensive. This person is feeling like, okay, I have to really look out for myself. I have to take care of myself. I'm going to carry a sword. I'm going to go out and get surveillance. So I would actually say that this heart space card is more of an action card for you. Your heart space, your heart's wide open. So how does your person feel in their heart space? Well, they want to go ahead. They want to get to know you better. They want to build on the relationship. Interesting, though, because this is usually heart space energy, and these are not heart space cards. All right, so how do you view the relationship going forward? You want a new beginning, and your person is coming in here not so sure about this. So whatever has happened in the relationship, whatever's happening, I would say actually more in your person's life, they're not focused on the relationship. They seem to be focused on um, beginning anew after being wounded in the situation or life at large, okay? To me, this is much more like they have bigger fish to fry than to worry about the relationship personally at this time. It looks like they have some major wounding going on. What's hidden in your energy, feeling sad? So you're mirroring this energy. This is their feeling here. They feel sad and you feel sad. Now, what's hidden in their energy for you is that you're quite beautiful. You're the empress and they're the emperor. 
So I feel like there's there's some outside lifetime circumstances that are kind that are coming into this relationship and interfering. What's the advice from spirit for you? Oh wow. Be the empress. That's the ability to attract love. That's never the the empress doesn't go out and do anything to seek attention or action. She's com she completely draws that energy into her. And so spirit is saying follow this sort of the very nurturing the you know the Venus energy of just uh being very soft, very very nurturing, but as much of yourself as anything else. What's the advice for your person? The Three of Swords card means heal their heart. They need to heal their heart. Hmm. What is the outcome for this week for you? You're going to let it go for now. I mean, I'm just seeing that, you know, you're ready to walk away. How's your person feeling? The Three of Cups upright is a reunion, but reversed, it speaks to the fact that you're not coming together and spending time. Let's see what is what are the clarifiers for the reading, Taurus. There's been some sort of wound. Okay, so why do we have the Emperor and the Queen of Cups here for Taurus? The hanged man energy. So the hanged man energy means that everything is being suspended right now. No decisions are being made. Trying to look at things from a different perspective in the recent past. What's happening right now? Why do we have the page of pentacles with the world card? What is going on? What does that mean for this relationship spirit? Nine of Cups, both of you want to celebrate and be happy. Both of you kind of want to ignore the energy that's going on around you. The Page of Pentacles, which is somebody who's making an offer that you don't see. Your person's trying to make things better with you, but you're not you're very emotional and it looks like you're not willing to see it and it really hurts them so the two of swords and the four of swords are cards of you wanting to ignore what's going on too painful you know a recognition or a realization so it does look like you're in a circumstance that's that's very painful could involve a third party situation uh, a text message that was seen but again, it's very, it's like very mysterious. It's not showing us much here in terms of the why. So what we do see is an intense loyalty between you and your person. You are both loyal to one another. You both love each other. Taurus, that is your card. The hair font is Taurus energy. That is Scorpio energy. So your seventh house of Scorpio is lit up with your partner. Um, it speaks to the fact that both of you want to be happy together. You want to make plans for the future. I really feel for most of you that this is a situation that may involve a job loss, uh, something from the outside that's getting to both of you. The Devil card says that you feel this looks as though you're you're trying to you know you're very curious about well who's my person talking to I want to do surveillance I want to find out and are they really at work so again I do think that there is you know the cards are clearly saying there's heartbreak here on the part of your person along with the four of swords they're trying to make things work out the devil energy also speaks to the fact that you may be in a situation where uh, again, in the heart space, you know, somebody's job has Im been impacted, and unfairly so. The devil energy means that, you know, somebody was treated poorly, treated badly. You're on the hunt for answers. Your person seems to be just trying to focus on practical matters, but the devil energy is means that there's some sort of manipulation, some difficulty, it can mean, you know, that it really can mean that there's a possible infidelity. But, but with your person so wounded, it's interesting energy. 
I'm just not seeing it quite as that. I'm. We're going to clarify again. We'll go around again. But, okay, so a new beginning. You want a new beginning and your person is exhausted. They're very pessimistic right now. You're trying to be the optimistic, hopeful one here. And I get that the Wheel of Fortune has come in reversed. The timing is not right right now for, oh, and that fell out too, the Two of Swords. So what I'm seeing with you is you really don't, you're closed off to the idea and your person's, you're both closed off. So again, this looks as though some sort of, you know, situation has created a rift here in a relationship and it's, it seems to be taking out stability. Why is the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords making your person not take any action? They want a new beginning too. You want a new beginning. The timing is not right. Okay. So why is your energy that you feel sad? Ten of Swords, you feel stabbed in the back. You're walking away. The Eight of Cups, you're walking away. All right. Why is the Empress card here? Your person feels that you've left them in the cold. That you're not nurturing. Here we go. We have the Hierophant card clarifying the Empress card. So the advice of spirit is, you know, to stay, work on things. But I'm really getting that, you know, you feel as though your person has betrayed you. And it looks like they're very wounded from it. And they can't deal with it. And both of you want a new beginning. Interesting energy. So why is the Three of Swords here as advice from spirit? Uh, try to stay more detached. The truth is known. According to this, Spirit is saying that the truth is known. Oops, and this fell. Two of Wands, it's time to make a decision. Okay, so I'm going to break out your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you also, Taurus. So we'll do a Celtic because this is a very interesting reading and it's just so general it's not it just shows that you're so upset you want to walk away and you're walking away and you feel totally as though you've been abandoned you feel totally disappointed in the other person you feel betrayed in the heart space yep here we go eight of cups is clarifying the eight of cups you're walking and yet you both love each other tremendously why is the Three of Cups reversed? I feel as though what I'm getting here is that your person, yeah, we have coins and having to leave. So it looks like there's a job loss here or there's some really big downturn of economic ability. Now, another way to interpret this is that you'd have to move for economic reasons. You know, I'm getting the energy here that... Um, you know, you both you both love each other, but you're not. You feel as though your person's been sneaky. You feel as though they're to blame somehow for this, and they're feeling wounded for it. Now it can be vice versa, but let's look and see what the energy is from the wisdom of the oracle. Let's see what wisdom has to say about this. Okay. Happy, happy. You want to be happy again. Chopping wood. So there's some there's some difficulties in this relationship. You're going to have to really address things that you've wounded each other, things that the two of you need to talk about, uh, some habits, um, not being, you can't, I mean, you, uh, Taurus, feel as though you can't trust your person there's that's how it comes up here there's a tremendous energy of both of you having wounded each other both of you tempted to walk away from each other and yet you both want a new beginning so let's go ahead and clarify new life so 
it does look as though a discovery was made here the seven of swords and devil energy indicates that cancer for you you i mean cancer i'm sorry i kept i keep saying cancer taurus i'm sorry it's taurus taurus you found out something that really makes you upset there is a victory good you do have a victory here what needs to be chopped show us that spirit please tell us uh, you know, I like the magician card normally, but if we look at what needs to be chopped, it needs, it's the secrecy. There's some sort of secrecy in the relationship that goes on. For you, Taurus, I feel as though you're fearful that your person has discussions or ongoing conversations with somebody from the past, uh, somebody that they were with a long time ago. And what is happy, happy? So the outcome looks like it's 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 one that you're going to have to make a really strong decision about balancing the relationship because we see this happy, happy card, but it requires, you know, a lot of Libra energy here. So let's see what we have. What's the advice from the Oracle? looks as though somebody may be traveling somebody may be traveling to a different location to look at homes or jobs I get the eight of cups card sometimes when it is travel the person will return and the reason I say that is I traveled professionally and this card came up all the time yes we left the place that we loved but we returned as airline crew members and it was always present in the readings I did and it's a very obscure meaning but it does happen and I feel like it does feel like there is the thought that a person could move away permanently that the two of you could separate but I'm not seeing it as necessarily happening all right the advice from spirit so that you can get your new beginning power take your personal power back being responsible for whatever your part in this re relationship is that has not worked the realization that you know both of you are contributing to the difficulties here setting boundaries you know um, to me boundaries oftentimes are are situations in which a couple will always have outside influences and just not getting caught up in what's going on outside of the two of you and resistance so, uh, so resisting the urge to jump to conclu conclusions just assessing the situation you need to take time before you make any big moves before you walk away before anybody makes a decision here you really need more time to assess the situation to see if you can have a new beginning Taurus I'm going to leave it there good luck sending you love from Chicago send some back and tell me where you're from thank you